This video is brought to you by the developers of Baseball Superstars. Baseball Superstars is a fantasy style baseball game where you can experience character development just like an RPG. The game also has a trainer system with a unique story and a system that helps develop characters while you're clearing the story. There's also a my player system where you can edit your player's position and form. You can enjoy battles with players across the world with a global real-time PvP that was just added recently. And it's not just a baseball game, you can also experience a home run derby and other stuff too. And if you use the link at the top of the description and log in now you can receive rewards like the King Tiger and its costume, a trainer select ticket, and up to 220 trainer recruits. Try out Baseball Superstars today. Yo, what's up everybody? It is your man Robot back for another video. So in this video, we're playing Heroes Ultimatum. This game is coming out very soon, I believe in less than a week actually, in like six or so days. So we're gonna check out the game in this video, give you guys a little sneak peek if you haven't seen it already, although you probably have. Yo, so before this video actually continues guys, I would really appreciate it if you actually left a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It directly helps this channel grow. So make sure you do all that jazz and even comment down below your favorite part of this game that I'm showcasing. Hope you enjoy the video. This game is actually really cool. I love the map building. I love the design. I love the quirk designs as well. It's not necessarily small, but it's like focused on what it wants. I like the way that the quirks all have nice abilities. It's not just spamming abilities and stuff like that. There's proper cooldowns and everything. But in this video, as you can see, I am a villain. When the game does release, I am going to switch from being a villain because being a villain is not fun. You get destroyed by higher levels. I'm not going to lie. Like everybody just targets villains, which makes sense in the real game. But in testing, it's kind of just annoying. It just makes zero sense. But we're going to go ahead and try to get a hero gadget. I believe it to be level like 30 or something like that to be able to use my gadgets or something like that. So I'm going to do that and hopefully I can showcase it to you guys in this video and some other stuff in this game before it releases. And you guys can check it out and see if you actually want to buy the game or play the game. I mean, I don't know if it's actually going to be paid access. I don't know why I said buy, but it's OK. Let's just go ahead and progress a bit. And this hero NPC is always annoying. Boom. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have one for all. I, I forgot to mention that. I do have OFA, which is honestly a pretty good quirk. I like how they made it in this game. And I'm looking forward to how other games do it too compared to this because when I usually see one for all in games, I usually see just, you know, the spamming of the wind attacks and stuff. But I really like how this game did it with the effects and everything. It feels not necessarily close range, but the range makes sense in this game compared to other games where it's just like giant AoE, giant ranged moves and stuff like that. So I really like it here. Oh god, no, I accidentally spoke to him. Who did I speak to? I think I spoke to this guy on accident. Oh my gosh. Alright, come here. Boop, boop, boom. Let's go ahead and use the Manchester Smash on this guy. I want to show you the amount of damage that it does. Boom, boom. All the way to half HP. Basically does half the normal civilian's HP, which is pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this quest, guys. And then I'm going to get to level 30, and I'm going to show you where you can get the gadgets. So I should have cut to where I was level 30, but I do want to show you guys this little, like, raid thing. They have a raid system in this game, and I think the raids are pretty cool. Now, some people say that solo raids give more, like, rewards, which makes sense. And some people say that just doing it with groups is good, too. So someday I'll be doing the, you know, you know, the little raid system, but not for a while because I'm not the fastest person at leveling up. So we'll see. But let's go ahead and keep leveling. I'll meet you guys once I do get to the level. All right, so I am level 30. I believe that's a level. It might be 35 to actually be able to use the hero gear or whatever. But let's just go ahead. I believe it is located. Oh, by the way, pressing N lets you see this stuff, just in case you're playing the game. I believe going to the gadget lab is where you have to go. Let's go ahead and talk to this dude. Go downstairs. Yes, I want to visit the lab. We're going to talk to Dr. External. It was level 30. Thank God I didn't go to level 35. I specialize in gadgets and hidden science. Will you, well, would you, oh, I misread that. Would you like to get some gadgets? Okay. Gadgets, yes, I would like to. Perfect. Your order will cost 7,500. The gadget will give you also random. All right, let's just do it. By the way, I bought some clothing too. I probably shouldn't have bought the clothing for 5K, but I did that. Give me something good. I got a common one, I think. Gadget, combat gadgets. It boosts physical damage with its ability to enhance momentum. Stacks with other bonuses. I'm just going to assume that's a decent one. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Dude, this looks really cool. Okay, let's see if we can get like an upgrade or something. Gadget upgrades. Upgrading your gadgets will increase its passive stats or utility if it has none. The first upgrade will be 10,000. <laughs> Dude, you have fun. No siree. Let me go ahead and uh, do my other stuff. Let's see. Uh, there's like specific gadgets too. Yes, if you have a quirk with a specialized gadget, there's a high chance of attaining it. Ooh. I really like the gadget I got, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I don't know if it, like, boosts damage. It said it did, but typically these games don't really, like, boost the damage that much. So let's see how good it is. Let's see. Let's try it on an NPC. Hi there. Hi, civilian. Boom, boom. 
So typically, okay, it did a little bit more. I can see the difference, but I don't really see much of a difference. Let's see. Does this guy give me like a kill quest of some sort? Give me a kill quest. Let's eliminate some heroes. Okay, that's going to be difficult, but it's okay. I got this. I'm built for it, right? I'm totally built for it. I got the drip. I got the hat. I got the gloves. I can do this. Oh, hi there. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Oh, come on, come on. Boom, 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 boom. Focus barrage. I don't know why this move does so little damage, but it does. Boom, boom, boom. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, no. Backflip. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh-huh. Oh, man, I misclicked. I mistimed, I mistimed it, not misclicked. I mistimed the gut punch. I should have used it earlier into my combo because at like the second or third hit is typically when I use my moves because that's when the stun is the longest from what I can tell. Like the stun for these NPCs is a little bit longer during the second or third punch. Within the other ones, I think it has more of a chance to get out of the hit and use its own moves. So, oh God, is this hardening? It is hardening. Okay, I hate fighting the hardening NPCs because these dudes, oh my gosh, like look at this. All right, boom. See, that did no damage to him. But if he didn't have the hardening quirk, he would have taken quite a bit of damage. Oh, oh, I got to get out of here. No, 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 no. Come here. Boom, 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 boom. Leap. Boom. I missed. Okay. <laughs> I missed that. Oh, no. I think level 35 is for my next one for all move. I think that's what it was. I need to get my next one for all move ASAP. Oh, my God. Why is my focus barrage not working? Come here. Let's do this, and then his move is gonna dwindle down in a few seconds, I believe, and it's gonna be like steaming or something. There we go. Hi. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's go ahead and defeat some more heroes. My hero, where are you? Hello, hero. I didn't aggro him yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this one because I don't wanna aggro that one. The other one's nearby. Boom, boom, boom. I did quite a bit of damage right there. I think my normal physical punches are what's boosted. I'm not too sure what it said. Like, you guys probably know because you can rewind. But honestly, I forgot what it said. Oh, hardening, of course. The one thing I'm constantly doing is checking the player list because there is a developer in the game that has boosted stats and likes to target villains for just no reason. He just says, oh, you're a villain. I'm going to kill you. I'm avoiding them because I'm just trying not to die. I'm only level 30. That person's boosted. I'm not trying to get killed. And then they'll, they'll be like, oh, you were weak. But it's like, you're level 70 something your boosted stats as well like you said so i ain't trying to play with that i don't mess with that stuff oh i can't hit him because he has uh what's it called Melios quirk he has the uh permeation i just gotta do a lot of damage while i can because he's gonna permeate in a second or two. Oh, come on come on oh come on punch 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 boom and with that oh come on game and he's permeated. Oh, I punched through it somehow. Go ahead and adrenaline boost. Get our stuff back. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Boom. Okay, that was good. Is that a hero? That's a hero, but he's bald. I've never seen a bald hero. I've never seen a bald hero in this game. What is this? I don't know what quirk this is, to be honest. Is this ice or something? Like, they just do this effect, and I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. All right. All right. Oh, he's about to use a move. Use a move, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I am destroying him. Damn. Easy, dub. Alright, we're going to complete this quest. Then we're going to check out some of the map. Because I want to showcase it to you guys. Oh god, electrification. This map is actually pretty cool. I really like how they did the map. The map is, like, large, but not too big. Like, you know there's some games where, like, they make the streets super big. There's a lot of space for everything. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's just not fun. This game has a nice, you know, balance between the two. Oh god. Oh god. Die, please. Die. Get away from me. I'm gonna eat my chocolate. Should heal me, right? No, it just gives me stamina. Oh, I thought that actually healed me. Boom. There we go. Okay, I'm healing. I'm healing. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I think this is the hunger bar up here as well. This pink thing is the EXP bar, as you can tell. 477 out of 150. I actually didn't know I could see the number by hovering over it, so that's really cool. Let's go ahead and fight this guy, I guess. I don't know what quirk this is. Is that like a form of hardening or something? Ugh, want rep? No, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Leave me alone. Uh, oh, there's a hero right there. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Uh, I have to do two more, actually. I have to kill two more. Let's just go ahead and kill this one right here. What's up? Bam. Boom, 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 boom. All the civilians like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Come to the hero and a villain fighting over here. Probably not a good idea, man. Okay. Boom. 
Okay, okay, good job, NPC. Let's do this. Gut punch. Yep, give me a chance to do this. Let's go. Okay, that's a good combo right there. Gut punch, but that was kind of scary because I assumed it was going to hit me at any point. I have to be careful, to be honest. Boom. Die, potato. Oh, okay, okay. I think he has solid air or uh, shock absorption. Shock absorption. Okay, okay, buddy. I think that's shock absorption. It could very well be solid air, but that just looks like shock absorption with that move right there. The, the white aura around him looks like he's trying to absorb, absorb, not absorb, absorb my attacks. Boom. Plus, I've seen the normal use like all these moves, so it definitely is shock absorption. All right, quest completo. Now, one thing this game has that other My Hero games that have released in the past really don't have, to my knowledge, is vehicles in game. Now, there might have been one or two that have it, but I haven't really played them, I guess. But this game has vehicles in the form of a skateboard, which is a game pass, and a bicycle, which is really cool. By the way, if you want to have like this like healing, not healing item, but like food items, go to the corner store and just buy them right there. That's where I bought my bucket hat too. All right, let's go ahead and ride our bike. My bike is pristine, stellar, beautiful. The best color you can get in the game is according to Roball 2021. Look at this color right there, dude. I don't think it's hot pink, but it's like a purplish pink. And I just think it's hot. I think it looks cool. I think I look dope. Now, one thing I do want to say is there is like a Nomu quest somewhere like in this corner of the map. I've seen it here. I don't know if it's a random spawn or if it spawns everywhere. Yo, Robot, what's up, dude? Uh, I think it spawns somewhere nearby here. I fought it somewhere here. There was like a Nomu that spawns near UA. Villain thing, dog, dear. Uh, where's UA? UA is right there. I don't know where UA is. I can't even see it. Oh, it's up there. That's why. It was near UA last time I checked, but there's like these like gorilla mobs over here. But the Nomu is like to the right here somewhere. Somewhere over here is where the Nomu is. Also, the reason why I'm not stopping to talk to them is because typically when you stop and talk to somebody, they attack you. So I'm just going to avoid that. I'm not even going to mess with it. Not even going to deal with that trouble. Okay, UA is right there. So I guess I passed where the Nomu thing is, but it's somewhere here. I don't think I recorded it, but the Nomu is pretty cool. If you find it, it's like a hero that's weakened. And he's like, I need help. Oh, somebody help me. Hero or villain, help me. You can just help him out, which is pretty cool. Oh, the dude gave up on trying to chase me. That's kind of funny. All right, let's see if there's a quest over here that I can show you guys. Oh, there's also train stations in this game and a car crash. There's train stations in this game. I'll pay for the train station just to show you guys what it's like. But the train station is pretty cool. It's like a fast travel system. And you can travel through the city, like the different stations. Let's just go ahead and go to the station manager. Looking to catch a train? Yes. All right, so I already paid, so I can either go to the east station. I believe I'm in the north station. South station's near, I think, the spawn, I think. I'm at the north station, as you can see, that's me right there. And then east, south, north. I'm wondering why there's no west, but I think the west is because there's like a forest there. So we're going to go ahead and go to the south station. I think I'm going to go there because I want to show you guys the forest. According to my friends, the forest is like level 35 plus. I'm level 30. I think I can enter it. I'm not sure if they have like a level requirement to enter areas. But I think I can enter the forest. Oh, there's the forest right there. Wow, that was like perfect timing. Actually, this is the forest right here near the south station. Yeah, I think I know where I am in the map. But the forest is right there. I don't think I can actually enter it until I'm level 35. But the forest is right here. And apparently there's like new quests and everything here. Yeah, level 35 plus. Like if I try to enter it, it's blocked. But if I get to level 35, I can enter it. So maybe in the future, I'll go there. Well, yeah, guys, that is pretty much the game. I don't know what else to show you because I want you guys to experience the game yourself and play it out. I know a lot of people have already tried it because I did multiple like free stress tests and everything. But if you guys want to check it out, link is in the description. It'll probably be free in the next six days or so once this video comes out. Thank you for watching the video, guys. And shout out to the sponsor of the video. I really appreciate them sponsoring the video, guys. So check them out if you want to. But make sure you like and subscribe. Till then, it's been your man, Robo. I'm signing out now. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.